Hey everyone, welcome back to the park. Hope you're having an awesome day. We're back here in the Arcane Pin Tournament. Starting off fresh with a new day after maxing out our rings yesterday. So we're just getting back into the game, waiting for it to load up. And here we are in the game. And we're going to start with the first thing we like to do uh, is the arcade and get that going. And we have water and air. So we'll pick a water dragon on our side for my dragon. And we're going to see if we have an air dragon we can choose. We've got a few here that our friends have available for us to use. And the blazing gale, lots of blazing gales. There's a level 20 right there at the top. That might be the best choice. We have an air dragon here. I think we're going to go with the air dragon. There's another air dragon, but level 12. So we're going to go with this air dragon, level 16, see how well we do there. The double weekend is over, so we're back to regular rings, or the regular ring amounts. And we'll tap out our parade here. Now remember, you can go in here, hit the enter button, and you can change the dragons that are in your parade. Just unselect by tapping and tap on another dragon that you want to put into your parade and then hit the set button and we're gonna make a wish in our wishing well and then oh we got a prize today so let's see what we got one gem that's cool and we got another 21 hours before the next wishing well so that'll be well beyond uh, I guess the reset time. So our next thing is our prize and we're on day number six here so the prize for day number six are uh, 250 rings which is a great prize but we're gonna wait uh, until we max out and then we'll get this and maybe it'll go into our our gifts at the end if we uh, manage to max out for today's rings. So we're going to go into our games here and check out what some of our games. We like playing the match game. And we're going to go over here and turn over a card. And the first card we got there is a torch. So we go and visit a friend's park. Uh, and then we come back and do the rest of the cards. Uh, but we'll come back once we have all the cards turned over and we'll show you what that looks like. So we're going to go check out our food, cash out our food. Oh, we didn't even set up our food. So we're going to set up our food then. We totally forgot to set up our food. I guess we cashed out and couldn't do it. So we just left it for the next day. But we'll just set all these up quickly and get them going. Whoops. I just want to get the seaweed there. Okay, they're all good. All set. We didn't miss anything. So next are our quests and Kia's ready. And we got one key today. And we didn't pick the big prize that time. So we're going to send Gia on a quest or send a quest with Gia. Tap our, our quest button. And it's an Evermore Cavern. So that's the Spectre Dragon. And we don't have a Spectre Dragon in the park. So we're going to make some room for our Spectre Dragon. And I know it's a cold and earth dragon. So let's see if we can put one of these dragons into the Dragonarium. Let's go back to our cold here. What's this one? Let's put this mistletoe into our hibernation cave and then get our Spectre Dragon out. We can find it in earth here. There it is right there, and we're going to move it to the cold. Can we level it up a little bit? Up to 18. And then we'll send the Spectre Dragon on the Nevermore Cavern quest. Let's go find the Spectre Dragon at level 18. Did we pass it? There we did. There it is on its quest. Going on a quest. Now we'll go check out 
Kairos here. And we got two keys this time. That's great. Very cool. And we just got to pick the right chest this time. Do a little better than last time. Yeah, we did. Not the greatest prizes, but we got the two top prizes there. And what's the quest for Kairos? Phoenix Edic. And we'll go in here and get our Ash Dragon, which is level 18, right there. And send you on a quest. And that's going to be, oh, just a couple of hours. Won't take long. Now let's go back to our nursery and see what's happening there. And we got our monolith dragon ready, but we have six and then one pedestal. So we're going to sell that one. And we're going to sell this one. And we're good there with the pepper. And we're good here with the lava dragon. And we have another Fates Dragon all ready to hatch. And we're going to hatch this one into the hibernation cave because we don't have room for it anywhere else at the moment. And we're done. That's cool. Second Fates Dragon. And we'll see what our breeding cave is giving us today. Well, we won't see what our breeding cave has given us today very very well, because we just crashed. Okay, we'll look at our egg. It looks like a water dragon, a uh, swamp dragon possibly. And in our breeding cave, we're trying to get the um, another fates, but we've got two fates now. But we'll try to see if we can get the pedestal, because we're doing so well. This is a great combo, the bouquet and swamp for getting the fates. We've gotten two already. So maybe we'll get lucky and get a third. We can have a Fates pedestal. Now we're trying to get the monolith number six here with the monolith number one and five. And uh, let's see what we got here. We didn't get a monolith dragon. So we're going to retry that and keep going and hopefully get that without too many tries. And our co-op breeding cave here is still going. It's got seven hours, just under seven hours left on that one. And we got our Fates Dragon. I think we're trying to get, and I think it was the Squall. And I don't think we got it this time, but we got a long breed time, which is a, a major fail. But we might uh, use some gems to speed that up in a little bit. So we're going to go get our rings. It's a good idea to cash out your habitats right after the game resets and you get them going again. Start collecting up more dragon cash and you'll get some more rings as well. And get closer to maxing out for the day before you have to use any other rings uh, that you've gotten from gifts. And let's go check out our Colosseum, see if it's done. Almost. Almost done. We got a few more hours left on the Colosseum there. We got our Elder Fire Dragon in there. Battling away. And let's go see if we can find our Banner Bearers. So our Elder Banner Bearers. And our House Dragon Banner Bearer. There's one right there. Looks like it's the Plant Banner Bearer. Because I got only 20,000 coins for that one. We zoom in just enough so you can see your visitors. See how they fade away if you zoom out too much. And, oh, there's, oh, I think that's our, yep, that's our house dragon banner bear. We only got one gem from him. If you click on this visitors button on the side here, the second from the bottom, you, it'll tell you they're banner bearers from your house or in your park. Find and tap on them to collect rings. So there's one or more other. I think there's only two banner bearers from your your house that are in your park each day. So we'll try looking for another banner bearer. Spend a few more minutes looking for another banner bearer, see if we can find those little guys. There, oh, there goes one. I think that's a fire one. Oh, it got, gave us a gem that time. 
That's awesome. And any more banner bearers? Hello, banner bearers. Where are you? Come on out, don't be shy. I don't see any more banner bearers. I'd like to find the other house dragon banner bearer. I'll check over here quickly. Oh, there's a whole bunch of visitors. No one with a banner though. Where are you? Come on out. Come on down, banner bearer. Come on down. Oh, there's one right there. They heard me. I look like the cold banner bearer for the cold elder dragon. And we'll just spend a few more seconds here, see if we can find another one. Oh, we just got a twin. That looks like a salamander. I believe that's a salamander. You can't tap on it. It'd be nice if they told you what dragon that was, but we just got a twin from somebody. That's cool. So we're going to see if we can find one more banner bearer here. Nobody, no, no one with a banner. Anyone with a banner, please come forward. Show yourselves, show us your cool banners. We want to see them. No, come on, there's a bunch. Wow, look at all the, there's one right there in the middle of all those visitors. Surprised I was able to see them. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. We got a few. Unfortunately, they don't give you any rings. Oh, there's another one right there. And don't go away. <laughs> Let me get you, banner bearer. And we just need one more house dragon banner bearer. Uh, we may wait till later on, come back later on. If it takes too long to find the banner bearers, I found you can just quit the game or get out of the game and then come back in a little while later and start fresh and, and you may have a better chance finding them. I don't like sitting around for too long trying to find the banner bearers because sometimes it does take a long time. So let's go into the match game now. And we've gone back and forth for each card doing our match game trick. And we've revealed each card and we've gone into our friends' parks after each card and gotten some coins and rings. We're back in the make a match game and we've got all our cards. So we're going to reveal all our cards now. And we've got two torches. Whoops. We lost a turn there, but we know all our cars now. So there's our there's our torch, and then we have two hats here for 15, and then we have two wands here, for 20 rings, and we got a couple of shoes right there for 50. And the next one is the cups for 25. Now these are lower amounts it looks like because the, the double weekend is over. And we have two flags right there. And next are a couple of wreaths. And then we have two flags right there for five again. And then two wreaths to finish up and there's the end of the match game and if we hadn't have selected two cards uh, and got them wrong we would have still been at 10 tries but we're at 8 tries now and we can just start the game all over again if we wanna just play it the normal way or go back and forth with our friends parks getting the party hats and the the rings it takes roughly about 30-40 minutes. But there you have it. There's our make a match.
Now, our feature dragon for today is the Gold Olympus dragon. And we're featuring that dragon because he's one of the dragons you can use to get the Thunderbolt dragon. A Gold Olympus and a Thunderbolt dragon in the co-op will give you a Thunderbolt dragon, hopefully after only a few tries. So you go in and we'll take a look at our Gold Olympus Dragon. Go into all and then down to the Olympus Dragons right here. And here's our Gold Olympus Dragon. And you can see this is uh, how it looks as a baby with those big horns and the fire tail. And here's the adolescent with the horns much bigger and it's starting to look cool. And then here's the awesome Gold Olympus Dragon adult. And it's a uh, fantastic looking dragon with the flames on the tail and the wings beautifully designed and those big golden horns coming two little ones coming out of his chin and two giant ones coming out the top there that's a very cool looking dragon and we can go find him in the park on our giant Olympus habitat here and we can take another look at him and he's 282 coins a minute which is pretty good and incubation time of 35 minutes and the pairs that you can use to get this dragon are blazing and crystal I think that's what we use to get our gold Olympus dragon uh, the willow and quake is also a good combination as well or if you have enough gems it's 2500 gems to buy in the market get it in your park and you can start breeding it with the Thunderbolt Dragon in co-op and hopefully get the Thunderbolt Dragon that's part of the tournament. Now one other thing I wanted to point out, I'm not sure if I did it in the earlier in the video, but the giveaway gallery prize for today is 200 and, 250 rings. So what I'm going to do is wait until I max out for the day and then collect the prize. And I hope that goes into the gifts tab. Or, if it doesn't go into the Gifts tab, it's added to what I've already collected, so it'll take me 250 rings above the max for the day. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to wait till I get to the max, and then I'm going to collect this prize. So that's a little tip. Also, if you go back into here, you can see on the 18th and the 36th, and the 48th and the 60th are eggs. And you can actually tap on these, and it'll tell you what you're going to get that day. And it says, play every day at 18, and you can receive a random epic dragon. So there's a random epic dragon that day, which the game will choose. And here's a random gemstone dragon. And hopefully it'll give you a gemstone that you don't have. And on 48, here I think you're going to get a choice. So it says you can choose one of the following dragons. So you can actually choose... So if you already have, in my case, I already have the Blazing Gale. So maybe I'll, I'll pick the Mountain Sun, or I've already got the Iron Blossom. So the Hidden Bolt or the Icy Torrent, depending on where I'm at at that point. So that's very cool. Look forward to that. And then on day 60, at the very end, here's where you get to choose one of the dragons from each house that are in the golden uh, section. So they're the gold dragons from each house. So if you don't have any of these dragons, uh, here's your chance to pick one and add it to your park, which I think is awesome. So there's two of uh, the Olympus dragons that are in the tournament. You, you can choose. You just need to be patient and wait for those days to come up. So that's pretty much it for today. So to wrap things up, I think we're going to go do some dragon races. Here's our racetrack right here. And our first rate race up is the Bountiful Bounce. And that's going to be a Lotus, a Nectar, or a Shimmer Dragon. And we should find them just hitting the water tab. I guess we can hit both tabs and you'll just get the... See, you've got Lotus, the Shimmer, and Nectar right there at the top. So let's try um, a Shimmer Dragon this time. That's a, a nice new dragon we haven't raced before. Oh my goodness, we got another twin. Right at the beginning of the race. Good thing I didn't uh, 
interrupt the start of our important crucial race here and we got a little baby shimmer just shooting out in front of us we can't catch up to hopefully we can pass that little guy soon come on there we go just pass him in time got first place two keys very nice and 48 should we chest choose chest number one or three let's try number one Oh, well, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Not bad. Those are good prizes. You picked the right chests, I think. So up next is a Flicker Canyon race. And that's going to be a, a Luminous or a Meadow Dragon. If we hit the plant and the light filter buttons here. There we go. Right at the top again. Luminous and or Meadow. And they're both level 20. So we're going to try the Meadow Dragon this time. And see how well we do. And they're off. We got two little babies in front of us, a luminous in the meadow. We are having trouble catching up to them. There we're passing the luminous. Can we catch up to that meadow and pass that meadow? Oh no, he didn't. Almost dead, but he beat us just at the last second there. So we got one key. Let's try chest number three. Oh, pretty good. We got the top prize. That's awesome. And then one more race, the Rainbow Root Race. And we got lots of elements on this one. Earth, air, water, and fire. And if we go into our filter and tap on the Earth, air, water, and fire, I bet you we're going to get the Panlong Dragon. There's Earth, air, water, and fire. Bam. Panlong. So we're going to pick that, and let's race the Panlong Dragon in the Rainbow Root. And this guy is usually pretty fast. Although he's up against some other fast dragons, but he's pulling out ahead nicely. Whipping down the track. Look at that Panlong go. Awesome. And to first place. Way ahead of all those other guys. And we got two keys for that race. Let's try number one. And number three. Let's hope. Oh, we got a gem. Nice. The center chest would have been good. Let's see if we can get that center chest for three gems and get everything. Bam. All the three chests. Awesome. Well, that's a great way to wrap up the races. We got a few more races left and we'll do those a bit later. And then one last thing to keep in mind when Kairos becomes active. But she's not active for another three days in our park. When he becomes active, make sure you have the parade or the arcade arena going. Because he does speed up the arcade arena. Okay, so that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos from the Vale. And we will see you next time.